want to record. Oh, why do you do this to me? Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a little while since we have gone through my garbage bin, had a scuffle through my trash can. So I figured today we would do an empties video and I would show you all the products that I've used up over the past, I'm gonna go with like six months. It has been a real hot minute since I filmed one of these videos. This stuff has been piling up in my bathroom and I have been desperate to get rid of it. Absolutely can't wait to take this down to the trash and just <laughs> yeet it out the door. Also, it's bin day tomorrow, so I can get rid of everything. Very exciting, if you can't tell. I'm gonna start off with hair care because this is the stuff that's been hanging out in my shower forever. So if the bottles are a little bit grubby, they've just been chilling in my bathroom, that's why. So I have one, no, two bottles of Pantene Pro-V shampoo. And before you come at me, I've been using this kind of shampoo forever. I've never bought expensive shampoo and I have a lot of hair and I've never kind of found any issues with it. So there are probably a lot of people that are gonna be like, that stuff is terrible for your hair. It could be, but for me, it works. So I have one 900 ml bottle of the Smooth and Sleek version and I have one 900 ml bottle of the uh, Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo. I really like both of these. I really don't find there's much difference, obviously, in between any of the different kind of styles when it comes to this shampoo. And I buy these in bulk when Priceline has their 40% off sales. So I've had these for a hot minute. Speaking of Pantene, I have one of the Pro-V um, Ultimate Repair and Protect uh, conditioner bottles. This one's a small one. We got it while we were actually on holidays uh, last year when everything wasn't locked down. I think last October we bought this. Um, this is just a good stock standard conditioner. I normally mix conditioners with leave-in conditioners, which is what I'll show you that I've used up in a minute. I don't normally use these kind of conditioners on their own because I do have very long hair. The ends of my hair can get very dry. Um, and also I have bleached my hair. It was a couple of years ago now, but obviously there's still pre-existing uh, damage from it being like blonder, as you can see. So just a good stock standard shampoo. I would really like to try out some expensive shampoos. I'm thinking about treating myself to the Olaplex range just to give it a go. But the other issue I have is with so much hair, I do use a lot of shampoo. So it's kind of like a cost benefit analysis there for me when thinking about what shampoos and conditioners I want to buy. Next up, I have um, leave-in conditioners. So I have two kinds of leave-in conditioners here. I have one empty of the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil no Intense Nourishing Mask. I don't mind these. I've used these on and off over the years um, as a deep conditioner, this brand in the different styles. There's a couple of different colored pots that you can get, I believe. I don't mind this. It's a little bit thinner of a mask. Like it's still like a cream product, but it is not like the thickest I've ever seen thicky. Um, I pretty much just put a deep conditioning mask right on the bottom of my hair and then I kind of use normal conditioner through the top and pull it through. That way um, my hair doesn't get too weighed down with conditioner or feel like greasy or anything after I get out of the shower. So I like this one. I think they're normally like eight or nine dollars um, and again I get them on sale at Priceline in bulk. The other one that I've tried that I think I will be sticking with from now on, I really like this one. This is the Garnier Fructus Smoothing Macadamia Hair Food. Um, I really like this one. It's really thick um, hair mask. It comes in like a massive tub as you can see. So I really like it because I feel like I'm getting you know bang for my buck and I'm not going to run out of it really quickly. Um, it is apparently a vegan formula, 98% biodegradable, dermatologically tested, and it has no silicons, parabens, or artificial colorants. So um, I really like this. I've got another one of these in the shower at the moment and I've got a backup in the cupboard as well. Um, so if you're looking for a good kind of just basic hair mask, I would recommend this one. It's, it's quite nice. The other hair care product that I have that is another staple that I go through quite a bit. Um, this is just the Batiste dry shampoo. I think everyone has seen these. They are a cult classic and a staple. This one is in the floral and flirty blush. I just buy kind of whatever color, you know, tube, or like can 
suits me in the moment and apparently I was feeling pink when I bought this one. Um, I normally again get these on sale for like 40% off at Priceline. Uh, I don't use dry shampoo all that often. I really only wash my hair once uh, a week um, and then towards the back end of the week I'll kind of do like updo styles or I'll be in plaits or I have a hard hat on. So it really doesn't matter too much what my hair looks like because I've got a hard hat on most of the time. Um, but yeah, Batiste, it's just a good solid staple. I've always got a can of it lying around somewhere and I use this one right up. That was everything for hair care. So I'm gonna move on to body care now. I used up this coconut and apricot oil, hair and body oil. I believe this was just from Kmart. Um, when we went to Darwin a couple of years ago or over a year ago now, I bought this just as something to use on my skin because it was getting a little bit dry coming in and out of the pool, but I didn't need anything um, that was like too wildly expensive or I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I grabbed this from Kmart. I believe it was only a few dollars. Um, it was okay. It didn't leave my skin super greasy um, afterwards, which I do like, and it kind of smelled like all right, like it wasn't too strong of a scent either. So if you're looking for just a basic oil, this could be a nice one for you to pick up, but it's not gonna do anything revolutionary for your skin. Um, I have another oil that I'm using at the moment that I am really enjoying. So yeah, this one's uh, all done. Next up for body care, I have a L'Occitane shower gel or L'Occitane shower gel. I don't know, I do not speak French. My auntie is French, I do not speak French. Um, I really like this, this one that was for men. Uh, got as a gift from one of our friends a little while ago in like a set with a few other items. Um, so uh, we both used this up. It smelled really good. I actually really, really enjoyed really enjoyed the scent of this. It was like super fresh smelling. Um, so in the shower, it kind of made the entire shower smell. So I would buy, oh, there's fluffies in the air. Uh, so I would buy L'Occitane products again. I do know they are quite expensive, um, but it was kind of really, really nice. So I guess worth the money if you're thinking about it, I would buy this one again. From that same range, it's not body care, but it is a gel moisturizer. This is the L'Occitane Gel Visage Global Face Gel. Um, hydrating, mattifying, and energizing. This one is for men as, as well, apparently, but I mean, you know, anyone can use face products. They are not particularly gendered. They should just be for your skin type or concerns. Uh, I didn't mind this. It was a really, really light gel moisturizer. It did have a lot of fragrance in it though. So if you're not a fan of fragrance, maybe avoid this one. Um, so we both kind of used it in the morning um, on and off. It did feel nice when it was on the skin. It kind of dried down to that um, soft matte feel. Uh, and being a gel, it was really, really easy to rub into the skin and kind of was a nice prep base for makeup for me, funnily enough. Uh, so if you were thinking about picking it up, it is nice, but just be cautious of the fact that it does have a lot of fragrance in it. Moving on to this one, this is actually a declutter. This is not something that I used up. It is something I tried to use up, but unfortunately just couldn't quite get there. This is Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. It is a cherry blossom and peach fragrance mist. I loved this when I bought it. I honestly have had this for years forever. I can't tell you when I bought this, but I have a feeling I bought it either when I was in the States or when Bath and Body Works first opened in Australia, which was quite a long time ago now. Um, I used up a lot of it. I obviously savored this one for quite a while, which is probably why I still have it so many years later, because I used to not want to use special things because I wanted to make them last. Unfortunately with this, the scent has just turned, uh, so it no longer smells quite as sweet and rich. It smells um, quite alcoholic. Uh, so obviously whatever the fragrance is in here because it has been chilling out in some probably warm places um, Isn't quite as nice. So I'm a little bit brokenhearted, but I am gonna have to get rid of this one So I am decluttering this one from my collection along the lines of fragrance I have an honorable mention so it is not quite empty. There is just a tiny little bit left in here This is Marc Jacobs Daisy I love this perfume. This is my daily wear go-to perfume. I think it is beautiful, it is floral, it hangs around. It is not like overly um, like offensive. You know how you get really offensive floral scents sometimes that just assault your senses because they're so strong and powdery. This is not one of those scents. I absolutely love this. I've repurchased another bottle of it um, and I will obviously be using this one up when I can leave the house again. It hasn't got a lot of love, but I figured it would be an honorable mention because once I start going back to work and outside doing things, hopefully within the next, you know, month or so, fully vaxxed in a month, get vaccinated. That's all I have to say, just get fucking vaccinated, 
get it over and done with, just just do it so that we can all go back to somewhat living a normal life. I just want someone to make me a cocktail in like a really nice restaurant. That's all I want, a nice dinner out, really nice restaurant. I wanna see my friends. I would love to see family, that would be nice. I haven't seen my family in almost two years, so I'd really like to see my family. So if you can get fucking vaccinated, do it. That's all I'm gonna say on the situation. But going back to the perfume, I love this. I have another bottle, so this one I will use up. And then it will become an actual empty. I've got another body product. I have the box from a bar of Dove soap because I obviously no longer have the bar of soap. Um, I love these Dove beauty cream bars. They are a fantastic soap if you have sensitive skin. They are a fantastic soap if you have kind of more dry skin. They're just a really, really good standard bar soap. I, I really like them actually washed his face with this. I don't know if that's any good for you, um, but it worked really well for him. So, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, so I would definitely buy these again. And the last thing, this is another empty packet. This is an empty razor head box. I get my razors from Dollar Shave Club. Now, Dollar Shave Club, took me a while to get into them, was a little bit like, uh, I don't know, should I buy razors? Should I not? Should I just suck it up and get some from, you know, the supermarket? For me, I got laser hair removal for a really long time. So I only have really thin and fine hair kind of on my legs, uh, which is mainly where I use this and under my arms as well. Uh, so I ended up buying a razor from the Dollar Shave Club. You know, I gave in a little while ago and I got one probably three or four years ago now. And I bought one and I will never go back. I really like these razors. They are really good. They last ages. You only have to replace the heads on them, but you don't have to replace the handle. And all of their heads, I believe, fit on each of the different kinds of handles. So you can pick which handle that you want. Some of them are like the pro version or like the simple version. I don't know, they've got like different ones. Just pick whichever one you want. It, I, I doubt it really makes a difference. And then they have the different blades. So whether you want like a two blade, three blade, floor, four blade, floor blade, you know, floor blades, whatever it is. Please don't leave your shaving blades on the floor. I can't imagine that'll end well for you. Um, and then you can have them so that they're on a subscription basis. So that way, every couple of months, they will send you just a new packet of razor um, heads. I did that for ages until I realized that I had a absolute backlog of these. And I opened my cupboard one day to put in another packet of them and I had about six packets of heads and there's four in each of these sitting there. So I decided to stop doing that. But obviously you can restart your subscription whenever. The heads are really cheap and they come with free shipping. I think they're like $15 for four heads, which if you're a woman that shaves, you know that that's really good for razor um, like heads, razor blade heads. So yeah, I've still got a whole bunch of these to go through, but if you haven't looked at Dollar Shave Club before, not sponsored by them, not affiliated with them, whatever, but I just do really like their razors. The last item that I have for body care <laughs> is deodorant. <laughs> I have four bottles of the Dove Sexy Bouquet with a sense of strawberry and apricot deodorant. Um, I really like Dove deodorants. Uh, that name is hilarious. Uh, why? I do not know. I wonder, are all these Sexy Bouquet or is that one? No, that one's the only one that's Sexy Bouquet. The other ones are pomegranate and lemon. Uh, moisturizing cream deodorants. I like these, they work really well. You can normally get them quite cheap for like a dollar or so each. Um, I don't find they irritate my underarms and they do keep me sweat free for you know most of the day. They are a antiperspirant, uh, but they are zero alcohol antiperspirant. But yeah, I've used Dove deodorants for years, so I have four of them. Uh, life hack, if you have thighs that rub together, like I do, put a little bit of roll on deodorant in, ah, in between them when you wear a dress um, and it will stop chafing from happening. Life hack, it's coming into summer. You can thank me later. I love Dove deodorant, clearly. I normally buy it in packs of two. They sell them at Aldi most of the time and clearly I have gone through a few of them. So these four are now genuinely going in the bin. That is everything for hair care and body care. So now I have some skincare goodies that I want to share with you that I've used up. So I have used up two packets of the <laughs> of the Course RX Acne Pimple Master patches. Um, these are the little hydrocolloid hydrocolloid um, pimple stickers. 
I really like these and I think I've said it, I don't know if I've said it in a video before, but I have mentioned it on Twitter that I love to pick my skin. I have a bit of an anxious or like nervous habit where I will pick at pimples on my skin whenever I'm really stressed out. And obviously that doesn't help because then having you know, marks and stuff and scratches on my skin doesn't make me feel very good. So it's kind of a vicious like cycle. Anyway, I found that these really helped to stop that. And not only that, but I actually found they really did help to prevent um, the severity of some of my pimples. So if I felt a pimple coming on, kind of I get them really often in my chin area or sometimes I get them in this area of my cheeks. I would put a pimple patch on it, sleep with them on overnight and then take it off in the morning and I'd find that pimples that would normally come to a head or get quite inflamed, instead they were kind of going away and not as painful anymore. Um, so I don't know if that's like genuinely, you know, obviously what is supposed to be happening. It says it does absorb oil and extracts impurities, but obviously like who actually knows, but I do find these really help and they do stop me from picking at my skin when I would otherwise be really tempted to. So if you're someone that does pick at your pimples like I do or someone that does want to try these, I would highly recommend them. Um, I got mine off Amazon. I have another um, packet in my bedside table. I believe you get 24. Yeah, you get 24 patches in one packet and they come in a bunch of different sizes, obviously for different areas and sizes of pimples on your face. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend getting these. I get mine off Amazon in like a pack of three, um, but I know that you can get them from places kind of like ES style or other um, like beauty shops like that. So yeah, highly recommend these. I'm gonna keep using them. I think they're fantastic. If you wanna try them out, please do. Next, I have a packet of makeup wipes. Now, these are always really, really controversial. A lot of um, people that work in skincare do not like makeup wipes. And I will say that I do not think that you should be taking your makeup off with these every night. I think there are much more effective ways of doing it. However, if you are like me and you are very lazy sometimes or if you are like me and before the pandemonium, you would go out for a couple of drinks and then you would come home very late and you would want to just pass out very, very quickly because you were exhausted. Um, and you would normally sleep in your makeup yeah, gross, I know, used to do it as a teenager, bad, very terrible, don't do that. If that is your other option, then these are great. So these are when I use makeup remover wipes like this, um, whenever I'm kind of just wanting to pass out, super long day, being out all night, having a fucking rager, um, that's when I'd use wipes like this. So I didn't mind these simple ones. They're a little bit dry. Um, that's the biggest issue I feel like I have with makeup wipes is when they get really, really dry. Um, but I didn't find they irritated my skin um, and they lasted ages kind of with the seal in the packet. Um, again, I don't use these very often. I leave them in my bedside drawer. So I do like ones that come with like a nice seal so that way they don't dry out over time. So if you're looking for some make makeup wipes, these are fine. At the moment I'm using a packet or I have a packet of the Neutrogena ones and I really like the Neutrogena ones. So yeah, if you sometimes get really lazy uh, like me or if you're planning on having a couple of rages when we can escape our house and you're vaccinated, get yourself some makeup wipes. They're handy. Speaking of makeup removal, this is a little mini of the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. Um, I had this for ages. I bought it when I was traveling, you know, when you go to the airport and you have a little peruse around the makeup stands and all the beauty and the perfume. Um, I always pick up a couple little travel size products. Just treat yourself, why not? Um, so I got this a little while ago. I, I didn't mind this for a remover oil. I think it did a really good job of removing my makeup, especially kind of like lipstick or mascara. The only problem I did have with this was that whenever I would use it on my eyes, I found that it would leave my eyes blurry. I know this sounds weird, but almost like they had an oily film on them and sometimes that wouldn't go away for a little while. So I know this is safe, for all of that stuff. Obviously it is a makeup remover oil, but if you were gonna use it, I just don't think it's the best and maybe don't use it on your eyes. Cause I just, it didn't hurt or anything. I just didn't find it particularly pleasant. Um, and I didn't find it particularly like a nice feeling to have stuff kind of in my eyes or like an oily film. It's really hard to explain. Um, it's kind of when I take my glasses off. It's, it's very similar when I've been wearing my glasses all day and I take them off, same kind of dealio. 
Um, so yeah, I didn't mind this. I think it did a really good job for all my makeup. I just wouldn't, if I was going to buy it again, which I don't think I will, I kind of want to change up and try some other um, like balm cleansers or oil cleansers. Um, I wouldn't use it on my eyes, but that is empty. It is now done. I have two moisturizers to talk about. The first one is a tried and true, and this is very dusty because I used it a while ago and I'm going to keep it so that I can return it. This is the Lush Charity Pot. It is a hand and body lotion where 100% of the proceeds minus GST support groups working to improve animal welfare, environmental protection, and human rights. I really like these Lush Charity Pots, not only because they do some good stuff with the money that you spend on them, but also for a moisturizer. I actually use this on my face. I don't know if you're supposed to. I think I've mentioned Charity Pots before. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to use them on your face, but it actually worked really well for my skin. Um, it kind of was a really good night moisturizer because it would almost leave my skin like oily but in a good way like it would kind of leave it with a bit of like a sheen um on top of it which i quite like i am um, you know i know a lot of moisturizers are supposed to like sink into the skin and like this one did but i do like when they leave a bit of that kind of glowy residue behind so i love these i would definitely buy this again um i think it makes a really good body moisturizer as well when it was coming towards its end date and i was trying to use it up i would use it over my body too to, to kind of get rid of it it was an amazing body moisturizer as well um so next time i go into a lush store i'll probably pick up another one um i am trying a different moisturizer in the meantime but yeah if you have the opportunity to get your hands on a charity pot i really like them i would highly recommend them um, so yeah, give them a go. And they, they smell kind of good too. They don't have a really strong scent. It's just kind of like clean, clean smell, rich smell. Um, it's nice. I really like them. The next moisturizer was one I was using on my face. And for some reason, the sticker on this one is like really discolored. I don't know why. Um, I was using this on my face for a while. This is the Cetaphil Pro, um, acne prone, oil free moisturizing lotion with the SPF 25. That's actually why I bought this moisturizer. I was looking for one to use in the morning um, that wouldn't kind of react with my skin um, because I wasn't in the routine of moisturizing in the morning, which I probably should have been. Um, and I was looking for something I knew that wasn't going to irritate my skin and this one had SPF 25 in it Which is great for me as you know, I work in construction I spend a lot of time kind of outside and out and about so having an extra layer of sun protection on my face Especially I am very pale um, is very very important. I didn't mind this as a moisturizer. It was quite nice However, if you got this anywhere near your eyes, I'm not even in your eyes probably because it has active ingredients, but it would fucking burn burn it was the worst it would make my eyes so irritated and even if I'd put it on and then maybe like not fully wash my hands and then like touch them when I was doing my mate forget it all over it was like water city like I do kind of get irritated eyes um, products kind of around my eye area will quite often set them off and make them really watery um, but yeah this just fucked with my eyes so it's a nice moisturizer but it just was not my best friend when it came to my eye area so I didn't end up buying this one again I actually got the I believe I'm using the Cetaphil um, just day moisturizer so it doesn't have an SPF in it. I've gone and bought a separate SPF instead um, because yeah, I would have definitely got this again had it not burnt the crap out of my eyes. Good moisturizer, just if you wanna try it, go for it. Just keep it away from your eyes. Just, just, just nowhere, nowhere up in here. It's a bad time, it's a very bad time. Next product is one I was really sad to see go, but super, um, you know, happy that I tried it. This is a mini version of the Tatcha the Kisu lip mask. I loved this lip mask. It was so nice to use at night. It was a pink kind of like jelly formula. So it was really, really soft, really smooth to go on the lips. Um, and I would sleep with it on. So it's a Japanese peach lip jelly. So I would definitely buy this again. I love nighttime lip masks because that's when my, for me, my lips get really, really dry at night. So going to sleep with them moisturized or going to sleep with them with this on, I found I had no issues with cracking of my lips, which is something, especially in winter, which is when I use this, unfounded, unfounded. My lips always crack in winter and I did not have that problem with this. It was fantastic. I would purchase this again. I think the full size is about $45, which is 
kind of expensive for a lip mask, but I found them really valuable. So I'd be willing to spend that money. I am using a different one at the moment that I really like as well. I would purchase this again if you're wanting to try it. I think it's a really, really good product. The last couple of things I've got are these three little ones here. These are a couple of different serums that I tried out and was using. The first one is the Ordinary Retinol 0.5% in Squalene. I didn't mind this. I didn't feel like it did a lot for my skin. I should probably put in the classic disclaimer here. I in, in no way am like a skincare professional. I don't know what is good and what is bad. I only know what works on my skin and my face and I'm willing to try different products to see how they go for my skin. So kind of take everything that I say with a grain of salt um, with that as well. What works for me and or doesn't work for me might not work for you or might work for you. Just, you know, use a discretion with that one. Um, so yeah, I didn't mind this. I didn't find it did much for my skin um, with retinols, but I was still willing to give them a go because I'd heard a lot about how great they were for kind of resurfacing the skin, um, reducing fine lines, and especially like intermittent acne, which is kind of what I get. Um, I was willing to give it a go. So I used this up. I was getting pretty bad breakouts at the time. I think that was just my skin. I don't think that was this product, but they had cleared up. I was getting them really bad on my chin. So don't know about that one. I'm not going to repurchase this again. And I haven't repurchased this again. I've actually been using, this is a, instead of that retinol, I picked up the La Roche-Posay Retinol B3 Serum. So this has pure and gradual release retinol. Now this one I do really like. This product is really, really nice. Um, I found that using this at night, I would put this, I would dry my face after getting out of the shower. I put this on, I let it sit, and then I put my moisturizer over the top. I found this really helped. I have very congested skin. Um, and what I mean by that is not necessarily have like a lot of blackheads and pimples, but I have a lot of, um, Oh, just like it's just clogged like my skin is just rough it's like I need to almost exfoliate almost every day with my skin not that I do because I know that's not great um, and I found this really helped I found when I started using this product it's my skin no longer really felt clogged in kind of key areas which for me is like in this area of my chin and kind of down here and then around my nose I actually found that my skin started feeling soft and smooth instead of like a little bit gritty if I didn't exfoliate all the time. It's weird. I haven't quite worked out what works to fully get rid of it, but th this product definitely helped. I'm on my second bottle of it now and I have a backup in the cupboard. Um, so I'm going to keep using this because I, I really liked it and I think it did make a difference. It's not like the wild, oh my God, baby skin, everything's like hella different. It's not going to be that. Um, I don't think there's many products that are going to do that for anyone. Um, but it really, for me, helped a lot. So I, I do recommend this product. And the very last serum and the very last product actually that I have to share with you all today um, that I have used up, this is the La Roche-Posay uh, Pure Vitamin C10 Serum. So I was using this one in the morning before my moisturizer. I didn't mind this serum. However, however, and I have had the same pro problem with another serum from The Ordinary. I found that when I was using this, even putting moisturizer over the top, it pilled when I would put my primer on top. You know, I'd put this on, I'd put moisturizer on, I'd make my coffee in the morning, I'd sit down to do my makeup. So it'd have like a good five to 10 minutes to like soak into my skin and it would still pill. The moment I would rub something across my skin, it would, it would pill and I would get like little balls if I actually rub my skin too hard. I would get little skin balls. It was, it was really weird. I feel like something was just either this and the moisturizer I was using weren't kind of playing nice with each other or, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I, I had that problem and since stopping using this and just using a sunscreen and a moisturizer, I haven't had that problem. So there was some kind of reaction that was going on or some product that wasn't actually sinking into my skin that was causing that issue and since then I haven't been using this I didn't find that it made a huge difference to my skin either um, again my skin is normally pretty good so when I do find a product I like and it makes a difference obviously for me I'm like wow this is great but there are a lot of products that don't I find don't make any difference to my skin so if you want to try it try it absolutely go for it but just be aware that if it doesn't react well with something you're 
you're using or it may not react well with something else you're using you might get pilling on your skin which isn't it's not particularly like great and and flattering so try it if you want to otherwise you know it didn't do wildly too much for me so that concludes the talking about my trash going through my empties from the past kind of like six months i know it's not too much there's nothing crazy you know that's going on in here a lot of my things i am using up as part of my project pan when that comes to makeup so i think that's the next video that i'm going to film so if you'd like to see more makeup uh empties then my project pan video is where i'm going to include all of those thank you for coming along and listening to me talk about my trash uh, if you don't already follow me on my instagram and my twitter i will put them on the screen here somewhere if you would like some more updates about my day and kind of what's going on in my life otherwise get vaccinated and i'll see you guys next time bye